Hello. This is a quick, <laughs> uh, quick little uh, tasting here of a rosé of Pinot Noir. Um, I haven't gotten dressed really. I'm still bumming around on this Saturday, washing clothes, doing some things in the yard, cooking, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, I decided that um, I was a little thirsty and I needed something and I wanted something light because although it feels nice outside, um, it's still a little bit warm for something dark. No, red wine just out of the question right now. So I am trying one of my naked wines. Patrice Grasset. I'm sure that's not how she says it. I have no idea. Um, but it's from the uh, Terroir of France, which is one of my favorite uh, wine regions. Um, Burgundy and Bordeaux. I appreciate both. So this is only 12% alcohol. So this is not going to make me any sluggish uh, more than I already am, I suppose, from sleeping a lot this morning, but um, I needed it. I needed to catch up from the week, and um, the sugar in here is probably not the greatest thing for my diabetes, but um, I'm just going to take it easy and, and have, have a glass. So this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty bottle. It is an apricot color, very, very pretty. It looks refreshing. I don't know uh, my wine, my, my small wine cellar that holds 18 bottles of wine is like making all kind of noise right now. Anyway, um, so let's swirl and do the swirl even with a, uh, with a rosé. I swirl everything. I just like to swirl. Okay, let's see what this is gonna do. Mmm, very, very bright, happy. It's definitely got the apricot on the nose and maybe peach as well. It's cold because that's how it's, um, it's served best chilled. Uh, and maybe a little tad bit too cold at this point. I just took it out the fridge and uh, the wine fridge and I'm not getting probably all the aromas on the nose that I could be at this point, but <sighs> definitely very crisp. Um, you know it's cold when you're um, sucking in that smell and, and there's like a, a, a freezer effect in my nostrils. <laughs> It's like, oh, it's a little, it's a little bit cold. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, might want to let it sit for a little bit and open up just a little bit to get some, some more aromas rather than a uh, frozen nose. <laughs> but let's see. Oh my, <laughs> wow, I definitely dig this. This is super awesome. Um, man, as soon as we can get out in public again and, and start um, enjoying each other's company, uh, going for a boat ride in the hot summer on uh, AB River with my, my pal, Juana, and her husband, this would be a great thing to bring in lieu of beer. Sometimes I, 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 I want beer, but this is refreshing. The tastes, very surprising. Um, I'm not always uh, thrilled with, with, with a rosé. Um, this being a French wine, maybe that has a lot to do with it. And the Pinot Noir grape obviously is in the French area. And uh, we also grow the Pinot Noir grape here in America and California. Um, very many Washington, Oregon, wonderful Pinots uh, all over this, all over the United States. You can grow this grape. So, but I believe that I am enjoying the French part of this uh, rosé. And let me get another sip because that first sip was so amazing. I, I couldn't really describe it. Let me try this again. Wow. 
I think the surprising part on my end is that it wasn't uh, very tart and very as bright as I thought it was on the nose because I am not a big fan of a tart bright uh, sourness kind of thing um, this is lighter than I thought it would be on on the the palette and I really love that it's uh, light but yet very almost floral um, rose apricot -y, little bit peach not much but melon but it's very well rounded and it doesn't have a super strong finish but there is a finish of something a little green let me see clover <laughs> I don't know a little green on the end like like um like clover like grass like summer I don't I don't know whatever it is I super super dig this shit it's really good I would recommend this to all you rosé wine drinkers out there um time for me to get started chopping my veggies and get cooking so I just wanted to mostly have this for my own records because I forget sometimes with the amount of wine that I drink, um, whether I liked the particular wine or not. Sometimes what I do is I will take a picture with my phone and in the wine bottle and the glass and I'll have a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the picture. Just a quick way to show my, my um, very bad memory self when I look through it again and say, did I, did I even like this wine? Um, you would think I would remember those things, but just like a movie I could watch over and over again and not even know what it, what the ending is. Same thing with wine sometimes, unless it's just so profound that it, it really sticks in that pea brain of mine. But, um, it's one way to do it. Take a picture, put your thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, sometimes I write on a little piece of paper, I write a note what the tasting was and um, if I liked it and took a picture of that alongside it as well. And that has helped me. That has helped me in the past. Uh, but I'm uh, videoing now because I just fucking want to video. Okay, whatever. So you guys have a great Saturday. Hope you're enjoying yourself however it is that you are able to stay socially distant and stay safe. Cheers. <laughs>